Hello, a very good evening, Mrs. Pash. I'm audible to you. Hi, good evening, Baisali. After such a long time, it's nice to see you again. Yeah, from. <laughs> Likewise. So I got this notification a couple of minutes ago only that you have booked the session. And the name, of course, I remember. And I was also excited for the session and I was looking forward to it because we haven't had a word in a long time. Yes, uh, even uh, in my case also, actually, I was looking for a slot from a tutor. And I was so happy that you, one of your slots was uh, broken. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, so, fortunate yes, enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I grabbed this opportunity and booked it immediately. So that's why <laughs> I'm here before you. Of course. Well, it's a privilege for me too that too you are having, you are um, you were excited to see for the session. You were seeking all this opportunity for having the session. And uh, like I mentioned, it, the mutual feelings are there. So are we ready for the session? Pardon? I'll be ready for the session. Shall we begin with the yeah, session? Yeah, 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 sure. All sure. right. So now uh, I would love, love to know from you that uh, how has your journey been like on this English platform? And uh, has there any been tremendous transformation in your personality in terms of language and the articulation? Yeah, it is there because I have met so many tutors on this platform and all of them happen to be very good when it comes to teaching the students. So being a student of this on this platform, I have learned so many things and I have been advised uh, by the tutors to do when it comes to reading or speaking. So I always try to follow their advice and I'm getting uh, the benefit out of all those things and I'm happy about that. Well, that's lovely to know because, of course, we at the end of the day look for the results. And if, of course, we are able to see the results, only then we can actually see and evaluate ourselves from where we started and where we are, right? So, of yeah, course, it, yeah. Uh, it speaks volume about this that if I was not uh, getting the benefit, I would not have been here for such a long time, isn't it? Right. That is the uh, I mean, prove that I'm getting the benefit out of this right, platform. Right. So results speaks volume about the change. And of course, change is very necessary. And you were looking out for this positive outlook for the change. And I'm able to see the change too. <laughs> I think uh, before beginning of the session, do you want to share any piece of thought for the learners, of course, and uh, as, as, as a part of the learners team, right? You are already representing the learners team and learners side of interest. So how good had been the transformation journey so far? And what is the sense of relishment or establishment you have had with this idea of learning this articulation and communication? Now, first of all, it is all about practice. So if the more we practice, the more we become uh, expert in this language. So there is uh, not nothing second to this. At the same time, I would say that we should be very confident when we speak to anyone, be it tutor or co-learners. We know that we make mistakes. We should not think about that and we should go on whatever comes to our mind and just speak out. So that's what matters, I think. And later on, when we see the videos and where we made mistakes, we will correct it and that would be the great thing to do to when it comes to improvement right so you can say rectify you can use rectify. another word which is easy we can rectify as in when we will see the videos or we'll go through the videos yes right so uh, beginning up with the topic for today shall we proceed towards that yeah yeah sure all right. So the topic for today is game, right? I, I know that, of course, game, when we think about the very word, what comes to our mind is a toddler playing with certain, you know, toys or most likely a teenager playing games. So uh, what comes to your mind when you hear the word game? When I hear the word game, it uh, it is all about me only. Uh, uh -huh. when i was a child what i did wow, what are the games that i played all those things mm -hmm. comes to my mind okay. so because uh when i was a child or i was a young i played so many games which i cannot play now 
and <laughs> when i uh, think about all those days and it gives me an immense pleasure and i just want to go back to those days actually mm -hmm. because there was no other things to bother all the responsibilities on our parents we just uh, were free to uh, play anything all right so while you were mentioning certain things i have written a couple of things which you can rectify uh, according to me um mm -hmm. one is that there was nothing to worry about you could have said there was nothing to worry about yeah. there was nothing to worry about second um, you could have said to my mind the very first thought which pops up is pops pop, up okay. pops, pops up or popped up after hearing okay. your after hearing you say this word okay so here i would like to know about you which game did you like most and <laughs> did you play could you All share right. on this so i was always this one agile kid um most energetic amongst the group and i wanted to be all the time outside my house i think as far as i can remember i really much liked basketball badminton coco and uh, yes i was an athletic person but during my school days but i wasn't been provided with good opportunities since uh, i belong to a very small town so i think uh, had i been into a big city i would have definitely made my parents proud in terms of the sports because uh, even for now i would say that i am the most agile person in any group be it any name any even if you will find the most active person there still i would be able to encounter with one or two episodes where i'll be able to prove myself so, so still now i i love to also to not to forget to mention about football so i was also a person who played football amongst my um, classmate boys and uh, i was the only girl let me mention okay. i was the only oh. girl who was always interested in football so i think adventure always keeps my spirits high and uh, that's all about it okay in that case uh, can i assume that you are typically a punjabi girl <laughs> yes of course i am punjabi but i think um, it's not something to relate to punjabi culture uh, punjabi culture you know the girls are confined within the walls and they are not supposed to move out much so i am the one who always would like to break the myths and the barriers and i would like to go the, and follow the different path so i'm the one who have who's chosen the road not taken <laughs> the path which is the road not taken you remember the poem by the robot uh, by this very wonderful poet robot robot frost so he has written the uh, the he chose the road which was less walked by the people so i'm that that person <laughs> who chose the road less walked by people <laughs> so you have mentioned that uh, you are from, you are from a small town so you are not originally from chandigarh no not really i i came to this place for uh, my education and my career aspect okay got it right. you must have seen from the profile because it was written there chandigarh yeah yeah and even we spoke earlier also about your place oh. I, I shouldn't have spilled the beans though. <laughs> but yes, it is not I, the I, first time I, that we are meeting. I think it is third time or yeah, yeah. Maybe. Of course, I remember the uh, episodes and all the sessions I have had, but I don't remember clearly what things I have already mentioned and uh, the the basic information is quite vague in my mind. What have what else have I mentioned? I never miss an opportunity to know about my tutor. You know that. <laughs> 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 that's that's very nice because of course a person needs to be very much intrigued and curious to know about more about the future. Even I was of the yes. same as the same person, but nevertheless, let's just continue same on the topic which I had to talk about. Um, what's your opinion of uh, getting the D addiction from the indoor games? Because as a parent also, I think you have mentioned that you also have. I think. kids and uh, how would like to go about with the understanding as a parent that how essential is for a parent to make the children move out of that confined space or for that matter from the laptop out of the this portion into the fields yeah parents mm -hmm. have a great role to play on this they should advise and they should inculcate a good habit uh, in their children and 
time and again they should keep on asking their children not to uh, indulge in such activities they should come out from this and they should do something which are very positive but in this case while having said that i also like to tell you that i have failed in this thing actually because uh, in my case even i have seen my children like my son my daughter most of the time they are busy with their mobile and in my uh, if i talk about my son sometimes i have seen that even at late hours like 2:30 am suddenly i got up from my bed to answer my nature's call and on the way i have seen i had seen that my uh, son is busy with his mobile phone and uh, maybe he is busy with some games or something else so it's a kind of addiction and i gave some advice twice thrice four time but it did not help actually so <laughs> it's a kind of resigning myself to the fate of things what is happening maybe okay so here you should have said they should involve themselves into right or they should involve themselves or they should incorporate a schedule in which they should keep you know the, the outdoor field activities more you could have said this right and second yeah, you have yeah. to say not 2:30 am you have to say half past 2 so whenever we are speaking in the language so mm -hmm. have to say half past 2 Right? Okay. Would that be okay? okay? I, I okay. hope I'm not being a nitty gritty person. <laughs> no, no, no. You are here to uh, teach me, so I should take the opportunity. So oh, whatever okay. you teach me, I should take it. Well, your spirits are quite high, and I'm really happy to have this positive attitude from your side. So now another idea which comes to my mind related to this topic is that uh, you know that there are certain uh, times when I have seen the games. has been putting a very like a paramount amount of change in the mindset also it affects your subconscious and unconscious mind and for that matter your conscious mind too right so whatever you are feeding to your conscious mind it's going somewhere in your subconscious mind so it is playing a role there and i have seen that it is also somehow hampering the thought process of the children and like you mentioned half past 2 time is super late in the night and this is affecting the circadian rhythm of the brain so what's your take on the idea that uh, people should keep a check on whatever you are seeing and the parents should be monitoring their kids i know that it's very difficult for to for the parents to monitor their kids because they have passed that age and now on their they are on their own but what is your take on this yes uh, you are absolutely right that we should monitor being parents what our children are into whether the uh, things they are looking in their mobile is a productive one or something that very uh, wasteful thing that they are spending their time on we should keep on trying to mend their ways if they are spending some time which are not the way they should spend we should not uh, uh, give up keep on doing keep on uh, advising them no matter whether it is uh, being fruitful or not we should keep on trying right but i think you just spoke that i feel like i have resigned from that institution where i had to give information to my children only so how could you try to cater the idea into the other parents brain that you have to monitor the kids and you have to keep a check on kids whether the things are being productive or not you know it uh, differs from person to person mm -hmm. so even though i know that we should keep on trying but the kind of person i am that i easily uh, give up i must uh, i must be honest to <laughs> uh, confess that i don't have that much patient actually so i suppose i am asking you to do something something better things to do and i have told you once twice thrice and after 
thrice i have seen that you are not budging from your activities then i just resign to my faith and i think i take it as a as, a, as one of my faith as it comes and as it goes yeah right well you have to use the word patience patience yeah so you can say that uh, i generally lose my patience easily and or you can say i can i usually give up uh, on things easily and i don't want to get into the trouble of losing my patience yeah yeah okay. something uh, uh, sometimes you know that they also get irritated if we keep on I saying know, them the right. same thing again and again yeah so if you say pester if we keep pestering them pestering them yeah. yeah if we keep pestering them if you keep pestering them of course they also get annoyed yes right annoyed all right so uh, what's your take on the entire conversation then so you know this entire take of conversation is that how would you conclude it as an idea it has been a very good conversation and it has always been a good conversation when it comes to converse with you and there is no exception in today's conversation also so i enjoyed the conversation very much and i would love to do more and more conversation with you and i don't know whether it would be right to say that you are looking great today thank you so much thank you yeah yeah of course it is very right so uh, less the comp- the more the compliments the more the girl gets happy and the lady gets happy thank you so much for that so yes but the only idea from the conversation i meant was that what is the conclusion from the entire conversation we had about the topic the title okay we should not uh, give up our efforts to when it comes to uh, mend our mend the ways of our children from the mm-hmm. negative one to the positive one right but also we should keep trying so that at least one day one at least one person or one end would right likely be able to say that yes i have been able to make a change in my children's life yeah never say die <laughs> right okay so last but not the least I, i would like to hear from you since we have been talking about the games all together have you been um, any kind of uh, been a participant for sports during your school days or for mat- that matter your college days yeah not in a big level but i love to play cricket so i played cricket and in school or colleges i uh, participated when annual sports were happen in schools or colleges like uh, high jump running long jump etc and even uh, if i have to tell you that uh, i won some prizes also so yes. wow. even in indoor games one. also like one Adam. not one 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 even in, a, in, a, in case of indoor game also uh, mm-hmm. i won some prizes uh, when it comes to carrom you know about carrom 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 board carrom board carrom yeah yeah oh yes absolutely mm-hmm. i know that i belong to india only <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so was that taken into uh, as an outdoor games or indoor games no no carrom is indoor game okay right right so were you more interested in outdoor ones or indoor no i was more interested in uh, outdoor but i also love to play carrom and for that you know i had the opportunity to visit some places in india because in our department uh, carrom games are held and for that i moved to kolkata once i moved to alabad and mm-hmm. this uh, bhubaneswar so this helped me uh, for playing this game it helped me to visit some places also wow that's great that's lovely because of course you know sports always gives this one idea to the people that you know your person has to play and enjoy at the same time it's all the more very stressful situation also to win the prizes right like we you mentioned that win the prizes also let me just make a link between two things if you will be able to get the results only then it is told or known as a thing of much pride and that's why only the person can take it into their pride right and also that is how we can say that now i can say with pride or with proud 
that I have been able to generate a good result out of it. Uh, it was a productive situation, a productive thing. So yeah. again, there, I would like to give uh, this mention about this uh, very thing since that is conversation only, that you have been able to give a significant amount of information. At the same time, I have been able to see the transition also. I hope this transition takes you along the course and journey to achieve the target which you have set for yourself and uh, may the learning keep continue and also may this learning help you achieve the target of becoming an efficient speaker and a great orator. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll be there one day. <laughs> yeah. So by, that is all. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What is called by scaling the ladder of uh, this journey. Right. So with this idea, I would like to take rest from my side. And uh, I hope you have a great time for the weekend too, because weekend is uh, starting up from tomorrow only. Yes. Right. So, uh, any thank plans you very on the much. weekend? Uh, no, there is no such things. Uh, There's no such plan. Like, there is no such plan. Yes, yes. Right. Uh, so thank you very much, Baisali, for this uh, session. I enjoyed this thoroughly. <laughs> thank you so much likewise hope to look you in future uh looking forward for more sessions looking forward you. to your session in right. future thank yeah thank you <laughs> so if, of course if you said said looking forward so that means again future only so you don't have to mention in the future looking forward for more sessions looking forward for more sessions more sessions okay. or if you want to add some adjectives that's again very nice to add in I'm uh, I'm highly motivated and overjoyed and excited with the idea that uh, we'll be having more sessions. <laughs> okay, right? okay. So all you can do is, as a suggestion, I'm just adding that you can add adjectives and adverbs to your conversations, which will always enhance and upskill the conversations and always add that flavor. Okay. Right. So thank you so much for joining tonight, and I hope you have a great weekend and. Uh, Thank you again for picking up me as an availability, as an option. Okay, thank you. Be and and there and All right. <laughs> bye bye. Good night. Take care. Bye bye. Good night.